champion is always new. But being a champion means more than headlines in the papers. It means that in terms of performance and accomplishment, the efforts of one are proven superior to the efforts of all others combined. And if by chance we could personally meet those who know the champions best, we'd probably want to ask the same basic question that most people would. How did they achieve their eminent position and success? Our story is the answer to that question. There's been a lot of talk about speed, but there can only be one fastest jetliner, only one speed champion. On its delivery flight, Delta's first Convair 880 became that champion, setting an ocean-to-ocean -ocean transcontinental record with an average speed of 665 miles per hour. But speed is only one facet of performance. And there are many ways to look at a champion in order to find out the many interesting things you want to know. Take an airline captain with 20 years' experience. His introduction is filled with technical details. How does she handle? How does she perform? That's what he wants to know. And the answer is, as smooth as silk. On the ground, aircraft engineers and maintenance crews look at it from a different point of view. The trim, sleek lines, the sweep back of the sturdy wings are to them symbols of integrity, an integrity of concept, design, and structure. Looking more closely at the structure is, in a way, a preview of the 880's whisper quiet cabin. Part of that quiet you can credit to the use of a thicker outer skin in keeping with the principle of integrity of design. Silent flight is engineered into an airplane's cabin. It can be accomplished by using a heavy aluminum foil sandwich with a special plastic backing. Then, over it, apply thick blankets of fiberglass insulation. Now add triple panel windows with air spaces in between. And then, round out the quiet engineering with a floating inner shell of panels that help exclude or help absorb nearly every bit of sound. And also credit a big assist from the powerful General Electric Pure Jet Engine. The smooth turning turbines and compressors mean dependable, vibration-free performance. And the integral sound suppressor, a daisy petal-shaped exhaust outlet, provides a tremendous reduction in sound levels. But technical details are only a preliminary briefing to a more personal introduction to the jetliners with the fastest scheduled time of any jetliner, the one they call the quietest distance between any two cities. And ask Jim Thompson. A call between two cities can be interesting, too. Hi, honey. Hi. Everything's done. I finished the meeting sooner than I expected, and I'm on a Delta 880 flight, so we'll have dinner together. Oh, I have to get my hair fixed before I pick you up. You won't have time, dear. We're leaving in a few minutes, and the way traffic is, you'll have to start within half an hour. Jim Thompson is explaining to his wife a present-day fact of life. With jet speed being what it is, most of us have to figure that it can take longer to go to and from the airport than it takes to travel a thousand miles in the roomy cabin of your 880 jetliner. Forward of the main cabin is the club compartment. And as you relax back in your seat, you are ready for the wonder of your introduction aboard the fastest jetliner in the world.
In that intimate but spacious club compartment, there is no speed sensation. The only sound you hear is from the air that is slipping by outside. The hum of friendly conversation is much the same as in your living room. And just the way it is at home, don't let a member of the family give you too much good advice. As a stewardess, I've served on a lot of different kinds of airplanes. But no plane has ever had the same appeal to passengers that these new 880s seem to have. Maybe it's because racks overhead are easier to reach. And maybe it's the special air conditioning that gives a uniform and pleasant climate anywhere they're sitting. Maybe it's because there's a certain home-like feeling in the cabin. But I guess it doesn't matter what the reasons are. The main thing is that all my passengers enjoy every minute they're on board. If there's work to do or just relaxing, time seems to float right by. So quickly, quietly, and so very pleasantly that anyone can rest without ever getting restless, even the very youngest generation. When we're on between meal flights, many of our guests get added pleasure from a tasty snack. And, if they like, the cocktail of their choice, to sort of tide them over till they reach their destination. Of course, dinner time for some can be absolutely any time, and we tide those folks over too. Everything does seem easier when you can fly a thousand miles in less than a hundred minutes. Pure white, pure jet, pure luxury. And Mr. Thompson can't help wondering if his wife has run into some of the usual heavy highway traffic that might hold her back from arriving at the airport in time to meet his 880 that's already coming into land. From way up north to way down south, people at the airports can recognize our 880 by their streamlined look and that pure porcelain white finish. But the passengers who fly on them can tell by a hundred and one little things that one way or another, the speed and comfort of the fastest planes add much more than just a time advantage to their vacation or their business travel. And as a stewardess, you get to understand why parents find it easier to fly or how much passengers appreciate thoughtful service and consideration on the ground as well as in the air. And you know why Mr. Thompson asked his wife to start out early when meeting his 880. Every year I travel almost half a million miles between a score of different cities, and one thing one good thing is always true. Whether your passengers are 100,000 milers or if they're on their very first 880 flight, they all seem to feel instinctively that they're flying with a champion. And it's a feeling that they like. Twilight sunshine seems to last a little longer in the sky. And cabin lighting, indirect, flows softly from behind the sculptured panels overhead. It's a pleasant time to travel because you know that in more than just a general way of speaking, you've almost reached your destination when your 880 leaves the ground. It's only natural for a youngster to take a lot of things for granted that those who've been around a little longer can appreciate more fully. For a man whose type of business can keep him on the go, speed has an extra special meaning that only those who travel often can truly understand. Evening time is meal time, too. A 
Royal Jet Service hospitality adds a certain flair to dining that makes you feel you're glad your appetite is healthy. And anyway, tomorrow is a better day on which to start the diet you made yourself a promise you would surely start today. installed at each end of the cabin to help make the service even better. But here in the quiet of the cabin, there is no need for haste, although the world below is speeding by more than 10 miles in every minute. One more thing to know about this champion of the airways, perhaps the one thing with the greatest meaning and most personal appeal. Because of its ability to fly in and out of intermediate-sized airports, the 880 will bring the benefits of jet travel to people sooner than they could be served by other jetliners. And therefore, to many people in many places, the 880 is opening the door to the wonders of jet flight that have made travel by air today the most satisfying way of travel that we have ever known. <laughs>